Hey guys, Captain Josh here. Um, a Baltimore game coming up. A really, really tough game. Um, you'll see my team collapsing uh, pretty early. Damn blue team. You're never on the red team when you need to be. Um, so we're going to take a quick look at the teams here. This is a tier 6, tier 7 game in the Baltimore. Um, you'll see some really big hitters in front. So there's a North Carolina, there's a Colorado, there's a Synop. They're all 16 inch and can uh, go through my bow. There's also a Weimar and a Belfast, so you have to be uh, very afraid of uh, really strong uh, ships in front of you. The Synop spawns right in, just in front of us, so very careful about that one. I take a quick shot hoping to um, go rogue right after, but I stay spotted, so I'm, I'm also keeping aware that uh, we might have the destroyer on our side. Um, and as I do look, um, eventually we're gonna spawn a we're gonna spot a Brandenburg over there, uh, which is probably the one that detected me. So we don't end up having the destroyer. Now a quick word on the Baltimore. It's a ship I really don't appreciate. Um, it's a very strong ship, but I feel it's uh, slightly overrated. Uh, and so uh, I'm trying my best. I'm I'm playing it for the <laughs> for the bureau. Um, and this is the reason why we're having this game, but it's it's it ends up re being a really really good game So uh, I wanted to share with you guys and, and and get your opinion on it So don't hesitate to post a comment afterwards uh, Let me know what you thought and and if you enjoyed it or not uh, We also see the Gnashno is going on the side So Gnashno and Synap are both going on the on the side the Brandenburg abandoned them so we've now we we see that we only have um, those three ships on our side and because two are moving on the right and one is going on the left we were pretty clear to go on the cap with the other cruiser uh, on our left so we're we're gonna go in and try to grab C be mindful that the two um, big battleships are on the side and um, we're also keeping an eye on what's happening on B which is getting uh, capped at the moment uh, well, I forgot to mention there's also a Baltimore in the other team uh, as we see the Belfast take off our Iowa off the board um, so we're down a ship already uh, and it's less than two and a half minutes into the game um, so we'll, we're gonna try and cap C we see that A is um, still unchecked and B has been taken so we're down on points by about 120 at the moment uh, as we cap uh, see with our our, uh, our friendly cruiser uh, I'm gonna end up uh, staying back as much as I can to to try and avoid uh, getting death struck by uh, the synop which I'm half expecting to come to the right of us uh, my initial view was that he would go around the island and, and come back in the center which is what he's going to do Baltimore coming up uh, broadside as I recognize this I switched to AP um, right away uh, i'm using you should know i'm using uh, al baltimore as my commander um, and i popped her with uh, the italian commander uh, that increases the reload uh, mimbelli um, as well as a uh, scott for uh, precision uh, i don't need extra pen on my on, on my baltimore so there's no point there um, and as you can see uh, he's behind the island so if i shoot now the little symbol says I'm gonna hit him so I, I wait until he's completely behind the island so he doesn't detect me when I shoot as he's the only one that can spot me um, we don't lead him enough but we still citadel him once um, this is gonna be citadel city this game uh, we, we end up having a lot of citadels so hit him again uh, propulsion is propulsion's going off uh, so he's gonna have to repair and we hit him for another citadel and now we add up an extra two. Uh, so we had about uh, 17,000 when we started this, this fight and we're now at over 40. Um, just shooting it three salvos on, on the Baltimore 11 kilometers away. Um, I went backwards because I, I want to follow him as much as I could. Uh, and again, looking at the map, being wary that those two battleships are coming uh, as our Weimar gets taken off. Uh, by the Brandenburg uh, that Baltimore is still really low um, so I'm gonna take a, a quick pot shot at him before I, I go back to my 
uh, two battleships on my side. And unfortunately he turns, so we won't get him there, um, but we're gonna shoot him again. And because we're using uh, Baltimore's, Al Baltimore's special perk, um, we do get a lot of penetrations on superstructures, um, so there's a lot less um, a lot less bounces or a lot less shatters on, on the shots and they're, they're really powerful on, on superstructures and, and, and those parts of the ships. The Brandenburg really low, I've seen him take off one of my ships so I'm gonna try and, and take him off the board. As he moves away he's, he's getting away from my circle and I can see that Colorado is popping up so I'm gonna take a shot at the Colorado. As we smash him for three and a half thousand damage uh, on our salvo, we're gonna shoot at him again uh, and add an extra uh, 4,000 uh, shot and he gets taken off by the Elena. Um, I still don't understand why my cruiser stayed on this point. Um, we sort of knew that both battleships were coming on the side, um, so I, it baffles me that he would stay there. Uh, take a quick cheeky shot above the houses into the Synop for 10,000 and, and a few Citadel hits. Uh, and you can see here another triple citadel, 17,000 damage on a battleship. Uh, point blank rage, obviously those Russians don't have a lot of armor. Uh, and an extra two citadels and we're gonna take him off completely. So that Synop really, really didn't think through what he was gonna do. Gnashno obviously has torpedoes, so I knew these were coming. Um, an extra 5.2k, a lot harder to citadel a, a German battleship tier 6 and above because they have the turtle back armor but you can see that the uh, Baltimore especially with the Baltimore perk uh, gets a lot of damage on superstructures and, and upper belts of, of the ships. We're at 108k damage, uh, two ships sunk, that Gnajno is on the run. Um, we still have the cap so we, we get a few defense as we break one of his turrets um, and if you look at the boards, the, the scoreboard um, we're 500, they have 500 points with 186 uh, and we have three ships against six which is not preferable, it's really not looking good. Uh, put a fire up, decided to switch back to AP, see if my, uh, my skill would work on, on, on that battleship in that position. It didn't so I went back to HE again uh, and, and waited for him to, to, to turn over. Looking at the map, no immediate risk to us. Um, my concern right now is to get rid of the Gnashno as quickly as possible to go and help my team. Um, so as I recognize that I'm, I'm moving forward um, and, and I know he won't be much of a threat to me because I'm bow tanking him and nobody can, can touch me. Going too close, you run the risk of a crossfire which is eventually going to be our demise in this game is, is the crossfire from, from the other teams. And so, in this case, um, again, keeping up with the Gnashno, I can see he's turning to try and reach his friends. As I noticed that, obviously I switched back to AP, um, and we can see the AP here at 3.3k. Get our high caliber, and we can keep peppering him for, for more damage as we go on. Um, and as we add another 3k to, him, to this shot, um, obviously he's recognizing he's getting completely shredded by my AP, so he's gonna turn uh, back out again and as he turns back out I notice the fire is off so um, I think he's due for another quick barbecue. Uh, let's put some fire up. Uh, first shot no fires unfortunately. Uh, second shot let's see what happens. And yeah that's the beauty of the American HE. Uh, quite a lot of fires coming up uh, so we put him on a, on another fire on the man waiting uh, on the next ones. We're 140k, still two kills only um, and you can see we've lost an extra ship so it's now a 5v2 um, and yeah now time is of the essence obviously there's no time to waste my friend is god knows where. Um, we kept our flank, uh, we tried our best as I noticed that the synop is getting shut down so now it's me against five. <laughs> So yeah, we, we played it very defensively, but we took our we took our cap. We knew a lot of battleships were behind us, so we couldn't close the gap back to B without being shot from both sides. Uh, but unfortunately, the team got completely um, erased on the other two caps, and that was 
that's what's made it really hard. As we break the torpedo tubes of the Gnashno with no hope from him to repair them, so I know now from the left side um, he shouldn't be able to torp me if he, if he turns in. Um, another fire on the man, we're at 153,000 damage. Still only two kill, obviously, because he's my only target, um, and that should be the end of him really soon. Now, turning our attention to what's left, uh, we can see there's two cruisers left, which are going to be en end up being the Weimar and the Belfast. Um, a North Carolina is still up, and the destroyer is also up. So, this is what we having we're having to face obviously the arsonist because of, of the number of fire we put on the man um, so now I know I'm obviously the closer to the destroyer which is not hard because I'm the only person left on my team uh, we still have 37,000 damage but that will uh, that can really sink uh, really fast with the North Carolina in front last spotted the destroyer was north so at the moment I'm trying to see where he is and as I'm not spotted now um, I'm wondering how far he is or if he went behind the islands to try and uh, ambush us. Um, we look at what the destroyer is, it's a Kiev. Uh, so Kiev is really strong as well. Uh, it's one of those uh, Russian destroyers that he, he can make life really difficult for you. Um, especially with the long reload of the Baltimore. I still have my radars but uh, I have no clue of how much health he has. Uh, so we're trying to stop the bleeding as we take a quick shot here. Um, we see we, we've been spotted and, and attacked. Um, at this point in time I have no view on uh, the enemy team, so I don't know what their health is. Uh, I can see a battleship shooting at me, which is North Carolina. Uh, and the Belfast pops up and he's really low, so I'm gonna try and take a sneaky shot, but too late. Um, that North Carolina, low on health, I should have, in retrospect, I should have probably focused him because he's, he's gonna end up being my, uh, the, the one that will really help, hurt me the most. Um, so, in retrospect, now that I see it, I should have probably stayed with him and, and put a few fires up and tried to finish him up before I moved on. Uh, but I was, I was too concerned that the destroyer would pop up behind me at some point. As I'm getting spotted, I realize that the destroyer is probably coming in, coming from the south. Um, quick turn, slow down in case torpedoes are coming from the right side. Uh, and you can see right now that they are. Uh, so I know that the destroyer is uh, at the other end of those torps. So I'm going to try to avoid them and pop my radar to see where he is. He's actually a lot faster than I was expecting. Um, and so I'm going to try and take him off the board uh, quickly try to avoid the torps and at the same time uh, be aware that a cruiser is shooting at me from the right so uh, quite a lot to multitask and the cruiser is a Weimar and obviously is full health so be very wary of a Weimar full health like he is uh, I'm gonna go into AP try to sink the Weimar he gets a citadel but not a lot of damage and as you can see, we're still taking shots from the North Carolina. We've overextended over the island. Um, and so that's that's actually what's going to hurt us the most, is that North Carolina shooting the crossfire uh, from behind the island is, is going to be uh, the end of us. We're keeping an eye on the cruiser, try to see what's happening. But you see here, uh, lost all our health to the North Carolina. As I line up for a quick Kraken on the Belfast, uh, hoping to get the shot in before I die. Uh, triple fire, burning down, and I do get my Kraken unleashed just in time. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed the game. 176,000 damage on, on this game. Uh, Kraken, top of the leaderboard, obviously. Uh, the team didn't do too well, but yeah.